Hello guys, Amatras here, just coming at you with another quick video. This is actually probably not going to be a quick video. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to be starting today. And this is pretty much just going to be a Steam bot development series. So pretty much I'm just going to be teaching you everything that you need to know about developing Steam bots. Uh, as we get on the tutorials, I'll probably, you know, add a lot more things to this. So this will be like today, I'm at a prob in this video, I'm probably going to teach you, you know, getting your bot logged on to Steam. Uh, and getting it into a game, idling in a game set, and change the name of your Steam bot, etc. like that. Just to get you started and just to make sure that you know everything that's going on. Because this is basically just the simplest process. This is the process you're going to do every time you make a Steam bot, a trading website, anything. You're pretty much just going to have your bot logging on to start with. So as I said, we're probably going to get into more advanced topics as this goes on. So... I might halfway through start working once you understand steam bots and everything that's going on behind them then we could start making a website because it's important that i don't get too ahead of myself here it's important that you don't get too ahead of yourself and i'm probably going to do a lot of rambling in these videos so i'll try not to straight to the point no js so pretty much no js uh, it's a JavaScript runtime and it's pretty much the language that we're going to be writing our bots in now it's actually written in JavaScript it allows us to execute javascript code on the server side so this is pretty much what you can use c sharp as well but this is pretty much what we're going to be using npm is basically the node package manager so this allows us to install modules that other people have made uh for our own bot so that might kind of sound like cheating but if we were to make every single element of every single steam bot that we made and every single website it would take a long time so pretty much the first step is to uh, download node.js here so pretty much you're going to, if you are stuck at all, then just look up a video or I might make a video in the future. So basically you're just going to install this. And once that's installed, uh, you're going to want to make a folder. So I've already actually made a folder in here called Node.js tutorial. So first of all, just to get started, let's make an index.js and a config.js folder file. And pretty much the first step we're actually going to make a package.json file. So this is basically just going to be, as I, say, as I said, we install node modules. So basically the point is today we're going to be logging into Steam with our bot. If we were to do that in pure code for every single one of our bots, it would take a long time to, um, to make every single bot. So pretty much someone has already made this package. They have already made the code that allows you to sign into Steam. And all that we actually have to do is tell that package what our login details are. Uh, so pretty much this code just makes it far, far easier to log into Steam, considering it's such it's a process that's done so often. So the first step, oh, and anyway, I got very off topic there. The, the package.json file, it basically saves the dependencies for this project. So the dependencies for this project will be the node packages that we need for this project to run. So we need that node package to sign into Steam. And so the package.json file stores that we need that module in order for this to work. So you're gonna to wanna to go to the folder that you made. For me, it's on my D drive. You go to CMD to open this or terminal on Mac. And I can CD to desktop slash node.js tutorial. Now that's relative to wherever you are. If you made the folder here, you can't always just do CD and then copy and paste this in to get to your folder. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to type in npm in it. So this basically walks you through creating this package. You can create a package. You can create, this is for basically storing the dependencies for this. But if you're ever making a Node.js package in the future of your own, this this will be in the package.json file for that. So that basically means you can, you know, make your own Node modules. So I'm just going to click enter for pretty much all of these. The entry point is going to be index.js. You can make this app.js. You could make this bot.js, whatever you wanted. I'm just going index.js and all these things we can just leave out. Is this okay? Yes. So that's basically us uh, done for now in here. So pretty much we're going to want to go straight to our index.js file. So what's the first step? The first step, as I said, is getting these node modules into your project. So how does your project know to use these node modules to make the request? to log on to Steam, which is pretty much the theme of what we're doing today. So we're going to want to define a constant variable. And this is going to be called Steam user because the package is called Steam user. It's just pretty much a convention to call it Steam user. So this is going to be equal to require Steam dash user. So if you don't know what's going on here, basically we're telling 
this project to require the Steam user. Um, no, no, yeah, we're, we're making it require the Steam user um, module. And the second module that we're going to need today is called Steam Totpa. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But pretty much we're going to make that equal to require and then Steam dash Totpa, however it's said. So basically, that module will allow us to generate our. Um, our code that we get for the two-factor authentication so pretty much that's required now two-factor authentication basically that allows your bot to log in and generate the code on the spot so that we don't even have to enter the code it can just generate it for us so once we've done that we need to basically uh, declare it's basically a convention to call this variable client but this is basically going to be equal to new steam user so we're basically creating a new instance of we're basically creating a new steam user which is going to be our bot in this session we're creating a new steam user in this session so as you can see just follow the syntax of this so pretty much next what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to think about giving our bot some login options so this is going to be the bot uh, account name password and then obviously the code that we get given to us um, from the Steam Talkpa module. So pretty much what I've done, the, the purpose of setting up this config.js is pretty much so that I can show you the steps and have a working bot while I'm working on it so you can see everything working. But this is pretty much just so you don't see my details, but it's also good to keep everything in a, in a config.js file. So pretty much inside the config.js file we're gonna come to now, we're gonna do module.exports and then basically no sorry what am i doing equals an object so this object is going to have a number of different options in it okay so we can do a count name and this inside uh quotation marks is going to be your bot's account name then you're going to do, want to do a comma then we're going to go for password and this is going to be in quotation marks your bot's password and then we're going to create a third one just called two-factor code so this is going to basically be where your two-factor code goes. Or no, sorry. Actually, no. We're going to put in our, our Steam shared secret in here. We're just call it shared secret. Sex, what? <laughs> shared secret. And this is going to be your Steam shared secret, okay? So basically what this is going to do is we're going to reference to these every time that we're logging in. So this basically just keeps the config separate. So this is like handy. Say you wanted to like, you know, change your bot name or change your account name for the bot or change change which account you're using for the bot. You basically just change it in here and you don't have to go through all the code. So basically I'm just going to fill in my details in here for the bot and I'll be right back. Okay then guys, so once you've basically filled in all your details in the config file, uh, we're ready to tell our project about that config file that it exists so we can read the data from it. So we're going to define a new constant variable up at the top here, and I'm just going to call this one config. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to require the module that we just created in config. So whenever we use module.exports, this means that all the data that we typed in pretty much can be exported then and required in another project. So I'm just going to type in require config and that's basically us requiring config now. So as I said before, the package.json file, with the package.json file, I said that we would store our dependencies, but the dependencies haven't actually been installed yet. We're requiring Steam user, but we can't actually, you know, if I type in uh, node index.js now, cannot find module Steam user. So we basically need to uh, install this module Steam user. So we're going to want to type in npm install steam user. And so what this is going to do is this is going to basically install the package and all of its dependencies along with it. So as you can see, that's been added. If I go to my package.json file, you can see that a dependency has been added in Steam user. So this basically means that uh, this project will refuse to run without this uh, without this dependency. And to add another dependency, I will type in npm install steam totp And that will basically add the dependency in here again. There it is. So now that we're done that, we can come back here. And this is basically all installed now. So what we're actually going to do now is we're going to make a constant variable and this is going to be called this is, this is going to basically hold all of our login options so we can go uh login 
you know, constant login options equals, and this is going to be an object. Okay, so basically the first item in the object is going to be account name. And so the account name is going to be equal to your account name. Now, of course, we already specified this in config. So basically, we're just going to want to do config dot account name. That's going to be okay for that. And then for password, we're going to do, uh, no, we don't need this. Config dot password. And then for the two factor code, this one's going to be called two factor code. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to want to use the Steam TOTP package uh, for generating this two factor code because this needs to be, you know, the raw code. And this is not just the shared secret. This is the actual code that we need to pass in here. Uh, we need to pass this in to Steam user. It can't take the shared secret value. So basically we're going to want to type in Steam T uh, TOTP which is the name of that variable. And we're gonna do generate auth code. So basically this is going to generate the code for us. This is all that we need to worry about. As you can see, the node modules do it all for us. Uh, we don't actually have to generate this code ourselves, figure out the algorithm for generating the code. So the value that's gonna go in here is gonna be config dot, I call it shared secret, didn't I? Yep, I think I did. Sorry, we don't need this. All right then, so that's that defined now, and we're basically ready to log on, okay? So we're gonna do client, which is the new Steam user, dot log on is the method, and what are we gonna log on with? We're gonna log in with our login options object. So, if we run this, and um, pretty much, hold on. That would be enough, that's enough to log on to Steam. So, if I go node index.js, as you can see, it's just sitting here running. Now, if I actually go to the bot profile, um, as you can see, it's not online yet. It doesn't even come up that you're online. So, we're going to basically change that now. Because we are technically logged in, but we didn't actually come online. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. You type in node and then the name of this to run it. I don't know if I mentioned that. And you click Control C to get out of the process that's running. Now you can use a package called Nodemon, which I like, which pretty much restarts your bot every time you make a change to a file. So I'll probably go into that in like the next tutorial or something. So, logging on. So basically we're gonna want to start listening for an event. So that event is going to be logging on, obviously. So once the bot is logged on, if it detects an event that the bot has logged on, then pretty much we're going to, you know, uh, deal with that with, a, with a, you know, an event handler or whatever, basically, uh, as it would be in, uh, what is it, event-driven programming, whatever. So pretty much the way to do that, client.on, and then we're basically going to type in the event here. So in this module, the event is called logged on. Then what we're going to do is we're going to define a function. So a function is defined like this. And then we're going to do curly braces like that. And so basically, so once we're logged on, let's just console.log uh, logged on. So basically, this is going to show us when we log on. Oh my goodness. Yep, there we go. So this is going to log to us, logged on, when the bot has logged on. So as you can see, it console.log logged on. So that means we're successfully logged on. And so now we can, you know, pass anything that we want to happen when the bot hits that log on stage. So there's two different uh, there's two different methods that I'll show you about now. So basically the two different methods are gonna be client.setPersona. And that's basically going to set the bot to online. Okay, so this is gonna the uh, the parameter to this is basically gonna be a parameter that's steam user dot steam dot e persona state dot online okay so there's probably different states here this is the only one that i ever use uh i kind of had to look at the wee reference there to see what the exact thing was steam dot user or steam user dot steam dot e persona state dot online so now whenever we run this we should come up online when it comes up logged in so logged on so we can refresh this and we're online now. So the bot's successfully gone online. So we might want it to play a game. So to do that, it's very simple. Client dot games played. 
and then we're basically going to pass the app ID of the game into here. So I know off the top of my head that CSGO is 7.30. So if we node index now, it should come up that we're in-game Counter-Strike. There we go, in-game Counter-Strike. And the same would go for, uh, for TF2, which is 4.40. Let's just restart this now. Node index. Yep, come on. There we go. End game, uh, Team Fortress 2. So pretty much, I think I'm going to end this tutorial right here. Uh, this has pretty much been very basic, but trust me, in later tutorials, we'll be going much faster than this. Uh, so pretty much, just muck about yourself. Uh, see if you can get a bot up and running and get it to idle in a game like I have here. Uh, also, you need to own the game to play it. Obviously, you can't just go into game Counter-Strike if you don't own it. So this has pretty much been the first tutorial now. Um, Feel free to leave a comment if you're having problems and I will see you in the next video.